Yes, it is. Mont Blanc. Homage to Napoleon. And it's the matching ink to the Patron of Art Napoleon fountain pen and, and notebook. And it's a blue. It is inspired by the blue of Napoleon's uniform and thrown in Fontainebleau. So, you know, the usual box for it. Very cute, though. Look at that. Anyway, we're just here for the ink. We're not interested in all the deets. So, I have... Well, I'm just here for the ink. I have um, a pen already inked, but I'm going to ink a super juicy writer because... I just feel like it because it's a Mont Blanc and it just feels like it would match. So it is the 03B. And if you're going to complain that people don't write with O3Bs, they do because I have one. And so I'm just going to drain that a tiny bit and dry off the feed. Okay, so while we are doing this, whoops, I already spilled. Ah, story of my life. Let me do this. Didn't want to waste it on a napkin. Paper towel, whatever it is. Yeah, there we go. I'll let that dry. And that's it. So while that dries, I'll leave it there. I'm gonna just do this and we're just gonna write with it. So, it's a blue. It is another blue. They have done many blues recently. To be honest, I don't mind so much because I like blue options, but you know, I don't know. It, you know, at some point it's like, all right, we get it. Okay, so this is. I'm blocking, sorry. I'm gonna just do something here. <clears throat> okay, there we go. This is Mont Blanc. It is... I can see people hating the sink <laughs> because it's a bit light for a blue. But <clears throat> it kind of reminds me of the Miles Davis jazz blue they did. Not nearly as light, but it has that lightness to it. Um, I This is Cosmo Air Light Paper, which actually makes ink seem even lighter. So I will also write on just some regular Rhodia because this might be artificially lightened by this type of paper. The paper is interesting. It kind of flattens inks and makes them a little lighter. So that could be why, but anyway, we'll see how it goes. O3B. This is not a pen review, so I'm not going to bother talking about the writing. I'm just going to do um, this, what I'm doing right now. Hmm. Like, I don't mind it. I think it's pretty. I would not say it's a true blue. It's kind of like a blue, like dark sky blue. You know what I mean? No, probably not, because that made no sense. When I say true blue, I mean like a royal blue. I think this is more like along the washable blue tones. So I've got a <clears throat> broad nib here, which will definitely give us a more, well, I don't want to say more accurate, but different look. It's a little darker because it's just a little more concentrated from the nib. Interesting. Let's do the same little doodle. Or try to. What did I do? Okay. I did lines. And 
and I did very technical wavy lines. You can see the master at work here. I personally like it. Again, totally understand that people might hate it. I think it's pretty. It's a nice sweet blue. Well, the color is sweet. I don't know if Napoleon was sweet. Huh, interesting. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is... Um, actually, what I'm gonna do now is this. This takes forever to open <laughs> because it's, um, it's got an eyedropper, but also it's possibly, if you eyedropper it, sorry, it's got an O-ring, but if you eyedropper it, it's like not gonna leak. So I'm gonna do this. This sweet circle type uh, thing. And then I'm gonna do this. Let's hope it doesn't splash too much. Come on. Okay. And wow, that is very, very wet and generous. Okay. We can put this back in and then we can see what, what was the point of this, you ask? Yeah, fair point. Um... I want to look at the, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just wanted to see what happens. Why do I have to explain myself? Okay, sorry. So, when it's wet in a massive splat, it's quite saturated. Not really sheeny. Oh, sorry, that was too high. It's not really sheeny. Um, it has no real outline. So it's a very flat ink. And again, it could be the paper. So I don't want to judge it just yet. What I want to do is, um, just drop a bit of ink. Oh, wow, that is, hang on. Um, I just want to drop a bit. Okay, it's not water resistant at all. Not, not that I expected it to be, but like at all. It's like, bye. But it's very pretty in water. Oh, don't you think? Let's see. Let's see. I think it's pretty. I don't think it's a very unusual color of blue, but I do think it's a pretty color of blue. So if you don't really have anything like this, I mean, you might enjoy it, but I don't know, it's not too bad. Okay, so in this ring, there's some sheen, and it's red, but it's very, very light. Like, there's not a lot of sheen, and that's, which is fine. It's just not super sheeny. Now, I'm going to move this. I'm going to grab my Rhodia pad, and let's just see how things look. On Rhodia. Shall we? We have... I want to see if it on the rhodia if it looks less flat you know like less i mean it's got shading but it's very matte very interesting um uh, orange two now i've done that let's do sharp nib for this, but that's fine. Um, does it look any less flat? Let's see. So it is... Huh. I mean, it's a little dry, I think, because it's not super saturated. It's just not meant to be a really 
wet dark ink. Um, Like, I do feel like it's a little dry. Um, it's very subjective, of course, but that's what I'm feeling. And then let's do it with the red Cheerios. That was not in the right spot, but whatever. Okay, there's that. And then I'm going to do this again. But I'm not going to do the splat. I'm just going to do a small draw. <clears throat> and then I don't recommend using the back of your nib because you can rub off the plating but I'm going to do it right now, just briefly, because it's my pen, my nib, I don't really care, but anyway. Let's just see for a minute, and while it does that, I'm going to go, hello. How are you? I hope you are well. If you want, you can get this ink in various places. I have discount codes below. However, due to Mont Blanc's rules, it does not apply to Mont Blanc because that's just the way they are. Very fun, not surprising. But you can buy other things or not, it's up to you. Okay, let's see. Let's just take a look. Interesting. So not super shady, um, not, super sheeny a little dry but a pretty color i think like i don't know if you want to do all your writing in this but i mean it's not bad i like it it's not a cheap bottle these are like 35 euros or something uh, like 30 euros not a cheap bottle but interesting so, I mean, obviously I bought one, but would you buy one? Let me know. I'm curious. I'm curious what you think of it, uh, how you feel about it. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think that's good for you guys, for me guys. I think that's a, a good enough preview of it. And um, yeah, that's it. So, there we go. Eh, do that. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, you know the stuff. You know, you know. just let me know, at, at least. Um, if you're in Canada, these are $50, plus tax. So they're expensive. And that's everything. Let's wrap up. There you go. That's this, that's that. Take care. Have a good week. I'll see you on Friday.